Uh, so, guys, uh, just how big a favorite is Rafa to win this thing again? And, and did Rome answer all the questions that you have? Yes. I mean, it was so fun to listen to those guys talk. You look at Rafa's pragmatism. Home one day, one day golf, <laughs> one day family, two practices here. And then you look at Novak and you look at the vision and the historical view that he has, which is going to add some pressure, right? He's going to try to win, hold all four majors for the second time by winning here. But for Novak, I always wondered um, if he was going to be able to beat Rafa in Rafa's kind of high gear here. We saw it a few years ago. And by Rafa winning in Rome now, he's got that extra little bit of confidence. Not that he needs it here, but it's going to be tough to get past Nadal. Well, it's so interesting. I think Rome was so important for Rafa. And not even to win a tournament, but I think he needed to beat Novak coming into this major if he was going to have to play him in the final. The last memory being the Australian Open when Rafa really got wiped off the court pretty handily in three sets. I think not only winning Rome, but having a win over Novak coming in here is going to be huge for Rafa and his belief even in this first week. 86 and 2 here. That's pretty good. That's yeah. Pretty good, right? <laughs> I mean, is, is there a bigger task? Forget about just tennis. Is there a harder thing to do in all of sports than to beat this man in this place, best of five on the surface. He has won this event more than any player in history has won, won any other major. We're talking about best of five, which I still think is such a key for Nadal. He will just grind you down. Again, going for his 12th title here. I mean, that's mega Hall of Fame credentials. I mean, yeah. you look at career slams. How many players have won more than 12 in all the slams? Nadal going for 12 here. This here alone would put him fifth of all time. And I think one thing here that we see is any time Roger, Novak, Rafa enter a tournament now, this is what we need to remember. All of these tournaments have huge implications for this board that we're looking at right here. Remember 20 years ago, no one's ever going to pass Pete at yeah. 14, right? Didn't take long. <laughs> for three.